2017, it's not 2016, what do you expect? My priority is those recovering from Matthew in my district. That is my major concern starting this session. So I hope there's a lot of conversation about that. I hope the money is soon going to get in place because people need to get back in their homes, get back to their lives. And I think we've got a five-member delegation, so I hope all of them are sounding the same uh, tone to get our folks squared away down in uh, Robinson County and surrounding areas. How is recovery going down there? It is a slow process. I think all the agencies are doing all that they can, but to those folks out of their homes uh, and displaced, uh, it's moving slow. But I, I understand the gridlock and how this stuff works. I think that's a good word, maybe gridlock, but how, how it works. So we want to do all we can because people really need to get back in their homes and get their lives back together. A lot of those homes might not be replaced, but we're trying to do all that we can. I met with uh, Michael Sprayberry, I think you've heard that name. So he's a very kind guy, so he's trying to do all that he can. And I hope this General Assembly will uh, do everything they can to release money to make sure everything's in place to help these citizens in my district. How did the gubernatorial administrative change? How has that affected cleanup? I know McCrory was very active. He it was, through his yeah. last yeah, day, yeah, in yeah, fairness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Mr. Cooper's in line. Did anything change with the business? I think Michael, uh, Mr. Sprayberry, excuse me, is, is uh, letting us know that uh, the governor has the same passion to uh, get things squared away. So we hope that is the case. I know he's got a lot of things on his plate trying to get his administration in place. But this, this issue is one that of great concern to me and uh, in my district. So I hope that he will put that on the front burner because I think that's very important.